does a mountain mean to us? Where I grew up in the USA, mountains are admired for their beauty and enjoyed for the activities they offer, skiing, hiking, hunting. But in China, mountains mean more than a pretty place or fun getaway. Mountains mean magic and for thousands of years have been considered homes to religion. Hi, I'm Noah and on this channel I bring you with me to explore the hidden gems of China. Welcome to the serenest mountain under heaven. This is Qingcheng Shan. Not only was this a major site for the development of Taoism, but it's referred to as a heavenly paradise and one of China's five great immortal mountains. The history of Taoism and its link to mountains is fascinating. On one hand, this religion is full of grand stories of magic and epic battles. It's said that the founder of Taoism, Zhang Daoling, spent his life as a hermit in various holy mountains like this one, developing supernatural abilities including the ability to perform exorcisms, heal, fly, co-location, and even immortality. On the other hand, plainness, pureness, and simplicity of nature lie at the heart of Taoism, which is why Zhang Daoling decided Qingcheng Mountain would be the perfect place to develop his religion. They say that as soon as he arrived at the foot of the mountain, Zhang Ling's heart suddenly became smooth. He trained all his life and wandered all around the world in search of peace and clarity. And on the day he came face to face with the green city, he finally found it. It's no wonder why the gate of Qingcheng Shan was intentionally placed in Kung Fu Panda's Valley of Peace. There are all kinds of temples here ranging from tiny shrines along the hiking path to tall pagodas overlooking the beautiful mountainous landscape. Well, at least on a sunny day. Near the top of the mountain, I arrived at Shangqing Temple. When I entered this place, I had a moment when I understood why they call it the most peaceful and secluded mountain under heaven. Even though there were people around me, I felt like I was experiencing this eternal, undisturbed peace. There was a slight echo of the voices of other visitors, and then combined with the way the candles and incense burned under this open roof that looked out on the vast mountain landscape. In this moment, I believe I felt the same sense of peace Dao Ling did when he arrived at the mountain all those years ago. I felt that same kind of feeling entering several of Jingcheng Mountain's cave temples. There's something so peaceful and sacred about a temple located in a hole in a mountain. Dowling in particular spent a lot of time in Tianshir Cave. I just try to imagine him thousands of years ago fleeing from society to come to this secret room in a mountain, spending hours doing whatever kind of magical trainings he would do. That's what distinguishes Qingcheng Shan from most other mountains in the world. The natural views are spectacular on their own, but along every corner there's some bit of ancient ancient Taoist history that both chills and cleanses you to the core. If you're interested in more breakdowns of Chengdu's attractions, click here. I'll see you all for the next great China adventure.